on my on my mother's side, we trace back one generation, uh, two generations back, and we find out. Uh, no, we're from. So my mother's side is from Georgia. My father's side from Martinsville, West Virginia. Right. So we find that uh, we have German ancestry in my great great grandfather, and on my father's side, we trace back to a my great 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 grandmother who was listed in the 1790 census, which is the oldest, you know, earliest document we have, as a free black woman, landowner, that had four mulatto children, four black children. We further find out that she had, she was living on land at the bottom of the Mullins Plantation. So she had... In what state? In West Virginia. So she had eight kids with slave owner John Mullins, four looked white, they sent them back to Ireland, four was part of my grandmother's, you know, and they had my father, they and they all came through there. sent them to Ireland? Four of them. So four. they just So there's four them. mixed... Mullins has been living white for their whole lives. So there are people in, in Ireland, in Ireland that, that have descend from us. Correct. Wow. Right. Nobody would ever know because okay. like, nobody unless somebody tell them, right? <laughs> and so it's funny, like when the conversation about so to, some of what you're talking about is so we don't know was my ancestors in West Virginia were they free? Were they ever slaves? We don't really know. Right, they could have been free for. I actually don't. They could have come back, you know. There's slaves in Virginia, of course, you know. So they, there's also free blacks in Virginia yes. that came over earlier, right? So to your point, I do a lot of uh, historical, like, I study a lot, and read a lot, and you find out now that you know, if you look at the Aborigines in Australia, right, you have stories from them coming from Africa into Australia, and now you have stories coming that they sailed during the Ice Age over to South America, right? So that could be, it's, a, it's changing the paradigm and the conversation compared to coming through the Bering Straits at the end of the Ice Age, which is illogical. Well, not that, uh, so that answers the question, I'm sorry, because I'm just getting to the point of, when you talk about history and when you talk about Eidos or anything, it depends on which period of time you're talking yeah. about. Who's indigenous from what time yeah. frame? Because people were here before, you know, the Mayflower came. And where did they come from? And how long were they here? You and know what I mean? So the history it, it, so much more dynamic correct, than just some Correct. Just so we had these quick the conversations ocean. on what are you? I'm like, well, it depends on, especially when you talk about indigenous populations, the indigenous from when? Yeah. You know what I mean? From what, what you know, if you take, take That's it, what I'm you talk about about. Haiti, yeah, you talk about Haiti and you understand there were the Taino Indians there and then they brought, you know, people from the African slave trade there and they created Haitians. Well, how far ago, you know, that was a couple hundred years ago. So what happened? How did they do that? Who was on the continent prior to that? Because it's interesting to think about it. Yeah, I find in Latin America and in the Caribbean, they tend to be a lot more honest about the pre colonial history. Correct. Like what people with the Dutch saw when they first landed, what the Italians saw. What did they see with their eyes? With ours, it's just like we just start here when the English arrive. And I read a lot. We read, you know, you want to read historical accounts, old stuff that people say that you're looking like, wow, yeah, that's what, what the history what the is telling us. Like and right, what. exactly. Because you do that to your point, I think I heard you say, you can find pictures of dark-skinned Indians. Yeah. So you sit back and say, well, where are they? These, where did they come from? A lot of these they people, they just look like African. light-skinned black people. Right. But even when you see some right. of the paintings, you're just like, right. they don't look like what you think. Okay. And I think we think in context of the country of America. Correct. But when you think about... Uh, pre-colonial history, it's really just a landmass. Right. So you had different groups of people sitting on, you know, occupying dis- different spaces right. in land. And one of the things I learned in college was that the East Coast alone had 500 different ethnic groups. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So where did all those people go? And, it, and then you think, you know, on, um, I think it's a narrative also. So they want to keep our narrative into slavery yeah, and it, it, only. Yeah, and part of propaganda part is just making it simplistic. You Correct. just came over here hundreds of years ago. You settled Correct. here. You were slaves. Because even when you read uh, the major cities like Memphis, like New Orleans, there is a whole population of like free people of color, but they're not necessarily mixed. Right, right. And then their population is in contrast to those that were enslaved. Correct. But it shows you that a lot of people weren't even slaves. They were like living in these enclaves. And they, they weren't slaves. And I always wonder why, the, you know, the academics have not really dug into or figured it out. Yeah, and so now people are tracing why. their genealogy. Right. And they go through, when you go back five or six generations, sure. you're talking about like 60 people. Sure. But 
they can typically only find one person Correct. that and was it's, actually it's enslaved. Difficult. We, we did it. I mean, it took a long time to get my father's history back. You know, and Virginia keeps a lot of great records and uh, probably one of the best states for records, but it's just a hard process, which brings up when we talk about lineage. Where does it start and stop? Who deserves what? I mean, technically, I don't know if I'm a descendant of slave. I believe so, right? Well, it makes but that's, sense. But that's what but I we mean. don't know. If you go back Correct. that far, you should. If know. you are, you should be able to find those people. But for the fact that they can find people that were alive in the 1800s right. and that they weren't slaves, it, it just right. kind of turns our Changed history, the whole on, its history head. on this history on this which people don't think of it and talk about it. Though. I'll give you a quick tip. I love ancient civilizational history, and then in the Mississippi Valley, they unearthed awesome a, a, a lot of ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs and a system of religion that believed in an afterlife, which is from Egypt. And so they're trying to figure out, like, how did they get there? When did ancient Egyptians come to the continent of North America so that these people, these artifacts they find in the Mississippi Valley, how did where they come from? How did that happen? And you got people to think, maybe what if it started here? And when the Ice Age came, we went to Africa because the climate was better. So it's just... Mm. Got to keep researching and stuff.